Hello, it's me, the Welsh Gamer. So today we're going to do something slightly a bit different. I'm going to do a how-to video and this one is going to be on how I record personally from the Quest to the PC. So just the steps that I use just to record the footage. There are loads of different ways to do this. This is just the way that I do it personally on all of my videos. If these are the type of things that you want more of on my channel, then, then please comment below and I'm happy to make some more how-to videos. Without further ado, let's get straight into the guide. Here is the software that I use to cast the Oculus Quest directly to the PC. It's called Air Receiver. Uh, you buy it in the Windows Store. It only costs a couple of pounds and, um, and it's just saved my life so much using this product. It uses Chromecast, so all you do is you turn it on on your PC and then you go into your Quest and click on sharing and then cast and then your computer will come up in the options and then you just click next and then as soon as you press cast that's when you're casting your Quest directly to the PC. So there you go. Ignore the pictures of me and Daysnetic um, playing poker. <coughs> But it, it's pretty much as easy as that. And then any game that you play, you're casting direct from the Quest to the PC. So for the audio, I use the Antlion uh, wireless mod mic, which a lot of content creators used. If you want to know more about this mod mic, I'll post a link down below to my really good friend, Daysnetic. He's got a really good video showing you the details on the microphone. So I'm using a piece of software called Voice Meter Banana and what this software does is um, you can use loads of effects to change your voice live while you're recording so we can make myself have a slight echo, echo, make it a bit deeper and it can also get rid of some of the background noise while I'm recording so like a fan and stuff like that and the microphone won't actually start recording and so I start talking. This software is totally free and I found it really useful. So to capture everything all together, you use OBS, which um, a lot of streamers use. It's a standard uh, software to record everything. So in here, you've got um, quite a few little settings. So I've got a separate setting for the microphone here. Um, and in those settings, I've actually set it to a separate channel. So here's the audio settings. And what I've done is I've set up the microphone on a separate channel to the game audio. And what that means is when you're editing it, you can change the volume on your microphone and the volume on the game audio. If you're doing uh, recording directly on the Quest, then you can't really change the audio. So sometimes you can't hear yourself talking because you're playing Beat Saber and the songs are just really loud. So I find that uh, splitting the audio up into different tracks is really helpful. When you want to record your Quest, you just add a game capture source here. And then in here, you just make sure that you capture a specific window. And that window would be the air receiver that we joined on earlier. There you go. So that's me connecting. Now this is recording directly to the Quest now. So I'm just recording directly into the Quest. So when you're recording with OBS, the main settings you need to make is the output settings. So I record via an MKV format, which basically it gives, gives you a, a, a higher quality footage. And if your OBS crashes, you can even recover it. Where originally I used to record as MP4 and you can literally lose an hour worth of footage if it crashes. I record everything at 1080p, but I actually upscale it in um, editing afterwards, which I will also show you. So the video settings in OBS is pretty much all set for 1080p and then when you're recording your game footage, you can just change it to the size of the window to make it a lot easier for you. There you go. That's how I record my Quest content directly onto my PC. I hope this has helped somebody. If it has helped you or you want to ask any questions, please comment in, in the video below. If you like this type of thing, please press subscribe and I'm sure I'll be making more of these. My next video will be how to edit the footage together in Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.